The Air Force just pulled off something extraordinary. While everyone was watching the F-22 Raptor dominate the skies, Boeing was building its replacement in complete secrecy. The F-47 has been in development since 2020, and most Americans had no idea it even existed. This isn't just another fighter jet. It's a sixth-generation aircraft that can command drone armies, penetrate enemy defenses over a thousand miles deep, and adapt to threats we haven't even seen yet. The first prototype has already been manufactured. China knows about it. Russia knows about it. And now, you're about to discover why the F-47 changes everything we thought we knew about air superiority. The story begins back in 2014, when defense planners realized something troubling. The F-22 was the best fighter on Earth, but our adversaries were catching up fast. What happened next was classified for over a decade. The Air Force launched a program so secretive that even the name stayed hidden until just months ago. They called it Next Generation Air Dominance, and the centerpiece of that program just got a name that honors both World War II heroes and the 47th president, who greenlit its final phase. Welcome to Jet Insight. The F-47 represents the biggest leap in fighter technology since the Wright brothers first took flight. But this isn't just about speed or stealth. It's about something far more revolutionary. The aircraft you're about to learn about doesn't just fly missions. It commands entire battle networks, coordinates with artificial intelligence, and operates in ways that would seem impossible just 10 years ago. The Russians tried to build something similar and failed. The Chinese are racing to catch up. Meanwhile, the United States just moved into production. If you're proud of American innovation and military strength, type proud in the comments below. The need for next generation air dominance. The F-22 Raptor changed warfare when it entered service in 2005. It could fly higher, faster, and stealthier than anything else in the sky. Our pilots could engage enemy aircraft without ever being detected. For nearly two decades, the Raptor gave America unchallenged dominance in the air. But technology never stands still, especially when adversaries are watching. By the mid-2010s, intelligence reports started showing concerning developments. China was pouring billions into stealth technology. Their J-20 fighter began appearing at air shows. And while it couldn't match the F-22, it was getting closer. Russia unveiled the Su-57, claiming it could challenge American air superiority. More worrying were the advanced surface-to-air missile systems spreading across potential conflict zones. The S-400 and S-500 systems from Russia could track and engage aircraft from hundreds of miles away. The Air Force faced a critical question. The F-22 was still the best, but it was also expensive to maintain. Only 187 production models were ever built, far short of the 750 originally planned. Each aircraft cost $140 million just to purchase, not counting the maintenance, upgrades, and operational costs. The production line had closed in 2011, making it impossible to build more. Defense planners looked at the threat environment of the 2030s and 2040s. They needed something that could operate in airspace protected by the most advanced air defenses ever created. Something that could fly deep into enemy territory, survive, and complete its mission. The F-22 was designed for a different era. The next fighter would need capabilities that didn't even exist yet. Before we dive deeper, please take a second to like this video and subscribe. Over 98% of viewers watch without subscribing. It costs you nothing, but it means a lot to us. The Secret Development Program In 2014, the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency launched something called the Aerospace Innovation Initiative. DARPA has a reputation for creating technology that seems like science fiction. They developed the internet, GPS, and stealth technology. When DARPA starts a new aviation program, the results usually change history. The program was building experimental aircraft called X-planes. These weren't meant for combat. They were flying laboratories designed to test revolutionary technologies that would go into America's next fighter. Boeing flew its first X-plane demonstrator in 2019. The public never saw it. The media barely reported it. But behind classified doors, that aircraft was proving out concepts that would define sixth generation air combat. The Air Force called their requirement penetrating counter air. The name tells you everything about the mission. This aircraft needed to penetrate the most heavily defended airspace on Earth and establish air superiority against the most advanced threats imaginable. 
it would operate alongside unmanned aircraft, sharing information across a network that would give American forces an unprecedented view of the battlefield. Here's what makes this remarkable. While the program was underway, the Air Force kept flying and upgrading the F-22. They never announced they were building a replacement. There were no public competitions between defense contractors, no media tours of assembly lines, no politicians cutting ribbons at factory openings. The entire program stayed in the shadows. Boeing and Lockheed Martin both submitted designs. Both companies built demonstrators. Both flew test aircraft that pushed the boundaries of what was possible. Air Force Secretary Frank Kendall said in 2023 that the service was planning for about 200 next-generation fighters and 1,000 advanced drones to accompany them. But he still didn't reveal which company would win the contract or what the aircraft would be called. Then in May 2024, something unexpected happened. The program hit pause. Costs were soaring. Each aircraft was projected to cost $300 million or more. Defense officials had to decide whether continuing the program made sense or whether the money should go elsewhere. For months, the future of America's next fighter hung in the balance. The big reveal and why it matters. March 2025 changed everything. President Trump stood in the Oval Office with an artist's rendering of an aircraft that most Americans had never heard of. Boeing had won the contract. The aircraft would be called the F-47. And it wouldn't just replace the F-22 eventually. It would transform how America fights wars in the air. The designation F-47 carries multiple meanings. It honors the P-47 Thunderbolt, a legendary fighter bomber from World War II that helped win the air war over Europe. The year 1947 marked when the Army Air Forces became the independent United States Air Force. And of course, President Trump is the 47th president. The name connects past glory with future dominance. General David Alvin, the Air Force Chief of Staff, released a statement that revealed just how far along the program had come. Boeing was already manufacturing the first article, not planning to manufacture it, not designing it, actually building it. The aircraft that most people just learned existed was already taking shape in a factory. The capabilities described were extraordinary, significantly longer range than the F-22 or F-35. More advanced stealth that would make the aircraft even harder to detect. Higher availability rates, meaning more jets ready to fly at any given time. And here's the really interesting part. It would take significantly less manpower and infrastructure to deploy. That last detail matters more than it might seem. The F-22 requires extensive support equipment, specialized maintenance facilities, and highly trained crews to keep it flying. Every time the Air Force deploys Raptors overseas, it's a major logistical undertaking. The F-47 is designed to be easier to operate, which means it can deploy faster and operate from more locations. The Air Force plans to buy at least 185 F-47s. That number would allow a one-for-one -one replacement of the F-22 fleet. But unlike the Raptor, the F-47 isn't being designed as a standalone fighter. It's the quarterback of an entire aerial system. Around five minutes into any video, viewer interest often drops. So here's something that should snap attention right back. The F-47 won't fly alone. It will command a fleet of artificial intelligence-powered drones that fly alongside it, carrying extra weapons, jamming enemy radar, or sacrificing themselves to protect the manned aircraft. The pilot becomes the battle manager for an entire robot air force. Sixth generation technology explained. Understanding what makes the F-47 a sixth generation fighter requires understanding how fighter generations evolved. First generation jets like the F-86 Sabre were simply jet powered aircraft with guns. Second generation fighters added missiles. Third generation aircraft brought better radar and precision weapons. Fourth generation jets like the F-15 and F-16 combined advanced avionics with superior maneuverability. The F-22 defined fifth generation capabilities. Stealth technology that made it nearly invisible to radar. Supercruise ability to fly supersonic without afterburners. Advanced sensors that gave pilots a complete picture of the airspace around them. Data fusion that combined information from multiple sources into a single display. Sixth generation takes all of that and adds entirely new dimensions. The F-47 is designed with a built-to-adapt philosophy. Modern aircraft can take decades to develop, and by the time they enter service, some of their technology is already outdated. The F-47 is engineered so that new systems can be swapped in quickly as technology advances. The airframe might serve for 30 years, but the sensors, weapons, 
and electronics inside it will be constantly upgraded. The stealth capabilities go beyond anything on current fighters. The F-22 uses careful shaping and radar absorbent materials to reduce its radar signature. The F-47 takes those concepts further, using materials and designs that weren't available when the Raptor was built. It will be harder to detect on radar, infrared sensors, or any other detection method adversaries might use. Range is another critical improvement. The F-22 has a combat radius of about 590 miles. The F-47 is designed for more than 1,000 nautical miles, which translates to about 1,150 regular miles. That extended range means the aircraft can operate from bases farther from potential conflict zones or strike targets deeper inside contested territory without requiring tanker support. The weapon systems integrate seamlessly with the collaborative combat aircraft that will fly alongside. These loyal wingman drones are being developed by companies like Anduril and General Atomics. They're not remotely piloted. They use artificial intelligence to execute missions based on commands from the F-47 pilot. The pilot can focus on the tactical situation while the drones handle specific tasks like jamming enemy radar or carrying additional missiles. Electronic warfare capabilities allow the F-47 to not just avoid detection, but to actively disrupt enemy systems. Modern air combat isn't just about shooting down enemy aircraft. It's about controlling the electromagnetic spectrum, denying the enemy the ability to communicate, track targets, or coordinate defenses. The F-47 carries systems that can blind enemy radar, jam communications, and create confusion about where American forces actually are. How the F-47 fits into America's defense strategy The Pacific Theater drives much of the F-47's design. China has spent 30 years building up its military, specifically designing weapons to keep American forces away from its coastline. They've deployed hundreds of anti-ship missiles, advanced submarines, and a network of air defense systems across artificial islands in the South China Sea. Any conflict in that region would require American aircraft to operate over vast distances of ocean, penetrate sophisticated defenses, and maintain air superiority against large numbers of capable enemy fighters. The F-47 gives the United States the tool to do exactly that. Its range allows it to operate from bases beyond the reach of Chinese missiles. Its stealth lets it penetrate air defenses, and its ability to coordinate with drones gives each pilot control over multiple aircraft, effectively multiplying American combat power. But the F-47 isn't just about China. It represents a new approach to air combat that will serve the United States for decades. Wars are increasingly fought not by individual platforms, but by networks of sensors, shooters, and support systems all working together. The F-47 sits at the center of that network for air operations. The aircraft also signals to allies that America remains committed to maintaining military superiority. Unlike the F-22, which was never exported due to concerns about protecting its classified technology, President Trump has suggested that allies might be able to purchase the F-47. Our allies are calling constantly. They want to buy them also, and we'll, certain allies will be selling them, perhaps toned-down versions. That would strengthen partnerships with countries like Japan, Australia, and potentially even European nations that face threats from Russia. For military veterans and those who've served, the F-47 represents something important. It shows that America isn't resting on past achievements. The F-22 was magnificent, but the threats have evolved. The F-47 demonstrates that our defense establishment is thinking ahead, developing capabilities for the conflicts of tomorrow, rather than refighting yesterday's wars. For those who've served or support our military, there's a growing community of veterans and defense enthusiasts following these developments closely. Staying informed about how America maintains its edge is part of staying connected to the military's ongoing mission. The aircraft also represents American industrial capability. Boeing's St. Louis facility, which builds military aircraft, will see major investment as F-47 production ramps up. That means jobs for skilled workers, engineers, and technicians. It means maintaining the expertise needed to build the world's most advanced aircraft. And it demonstrates that American manufacturing can still produce technology that no other country can match. The road ahead and what to expect. The F-47 is expected to make its first flight in 2028. That's just three years away. By 2029, the aircraft could be operational, meaning it's flying missions and testing its systems in real-world conditions. 
full deployment into frontline squadrons would happen in the 2030s. That timeline is remarkably fast for a program of this complexity. The F-22 took decades from initial design to operational service. The F-35 faced years of delays and cost overruns. The F-47 benefits from lessons learned on both programs. The experimental X-planes that flew starting in 2020 already proved out many of the technologies. Boeing isn't starting from scratch. They're refining and integrating systems that have already been tested. General Alvin said that Boeing is moving fast because America needs to move fast. China is developing its own sixth-generation concepts. The J-36, a new Chinese stealth aircraft, recently appeared in photos. While it may not match the F-47's capabilities, it shows that China is pursuing similar concepts. The window of American air superiority won't stay open forever unless we continue pushing the technological edge. The F-22 won't disappear when the F-47 arrives. The Raptor is receiving major upgrades to keep it combat effective into the 2040s. The two aircraft will fly together, with the F-47 handling the most challenging missions, while the F-22 continues performing other air superiority tasks. Eventually, as more F-47s enter service and older F-22s age out, the transition will be complete. What makes this transition different from previous fighter programs is the secrecy and speed. The F-35 was announced with great fanfare. Multiple countries participated in its development. The media covered every milestone. The F-47 stayed hidden until it was already well into development. That's a new approach for American defense programs. And it may be the model for future weapon systems. The aircraft represents more than just technological advancement. It symbolizes American resolve to maintain military superiority even as budgets tighten and priorities compete. Building sixth-generation fighters is expensive, but losing air superiority would be catastrophic. The F-47 ensures that American pilots will continue flying the best aircraft in the world, backed by the most advanced technology, supported by systems that give them every advantage. Conclusion The F-47 isn't just replacing the F-22 Raptor. It's redefining what air dominance means in the 21st century. From its artificial intelligence wingman to its revolutionary stealth, this aircraft represents the cutting edge of American military power. The skies above future battlefields will belong to the pilots flying this jet. And while our adversaries are still trying to match the F-22, America has already moved on to the next generation. If you found this information valuable, hit that like button and subscribe for more coverage of America's military capabilities. The future of air combat is here, and it's wearing the stars and stripes.